Hey, folks, it's Robin Robbins here, founder of technologymarketingtoolkit.com. I'm here with Ryan Denning, who's the VP of sales for Black Point Cyber. We are at the Dallas Road Show, and it's, it's a great show so far. I mean, it's surprising how many people showed up. Like, I know that sounds silly, but like, you know, when you're doing... Uh, with everything going on, you know, you're just like hoping, but it's been a, a good show. Oh, absolutely. It's been a good show. Yeah, yeah. So a lot of people here are very excited. Um, and uh, the reason I wanted to do this video is because I think one of the things that's really important for all of you as MSPs, obviously, is cybersecurity. With the pandemic, with people working remote, you know, cybersecurity has not gone away. And so a lot of the conversations that are happening here are about how do we protect our clients and how do we make money? So that's why I wanted to talk to Ryan. He's the sort of, not want to say new kid on the block. How long you, you guys been around? Oh, since 2012, actually. Oh, okay. So for quite a bit, really starting to make a lot of new headway. I've got, you know, you've come, really come on the radar big on my audience in like, like the last year or so. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. It was yeah. probably, uh, you know, the last two years, really. Yeah, right. So um, okay, so there's people here that don't know who you are. So real quick, give us like the brief, what is Blackpoint and what makes you guys different? Sure. So uh, we are a managed detection and response company, but you know, we're founded by former intelligence, uh, former NSA uh, guys that spent 12 years, you know, conducting cyber operations for our country. I mean, the top cyber operations. And what they've done is they came out and said, we need to build something that would stop guys like us. And that's really what Blackpoint Cyber built, um, is a, a uh, tool that is um, 24-7, 365, that is actually includes response. So we can identify these threats, and then we can actually respond to them on the, on the behalf of protected people. Right, because I think your tool is really something that's not really been available for the small market, like the small, like it's more of an, it was originally more of an enterprise and government tool, correct? Correct. Absolutely correct, Robin. Um, um, you know, you, typically you see a lot of it on the EDR side mm -hmm. um, where, you know, they're used to the endpoint detection and response. MDR is going to be the, is the next evolution to that. Yeah. So explain it because I, I, MDR, I know we're hearing it more and more, manage, detect, respond. And you mentioned EDR, which is endpoint detection response. Yeah. Right? Um, and just so what's the what's the difference? Because I think a lot of MSPs that be watching this would be saying, well, I am doing MDR. So, uh, you know, endpoint detection and response primarily is like AV endpoint protection with an, a heuristic algorithm in there that's looking at, you know, behaviors. Managed detection and response has a SOC. It runs 24 hours a day. So there's actually eyes on glass as well as the smart tools that are going to identify an alert. And then it's managed. So uh, it's being run for you on your behalf. So um, it eliminates a lot of the false positives and a lot of the alert fatigue that you end up going through with one of those tools. Mm -hmm. And I'm glad you brought that up because I know a lot of the MSPs that are watching this. I mean, they've got there's dozens upon dozens of cybersecurity tools and services. And I mean, they can't turn around without one of them calling them, emailing, hey, buy from me, buy from me. And they've got multiple tools and they've got all these alerts going off and they're trying to do, you know, it, it's becoming a mess. Um, so I, just to kind of put you on the spot a little bit, why, you, you know, here you are, here's another new one. Why you guys versus the other, other ones that they have? Yeah, so there's a lot there, Robin, obviously. Um, but, you know, the reality is we designed this to be a lean stack. So it actually eliminates tools. So you can reduce kind of that tool fatigue and on top of it, the alert fatigue, right? Um, so you're reducing all of those uh, alerts. And so... Um, you're increasing your security detection. So by reducing the tools, you're actually improving your profits. Mm -hmm. um, you're also reducing your tool fatigue. Mm -hmm. Then you're increasing your security detection with our patented software in this mm -hmm. example. So now you've increased your security detection. And what that allows you to do is allows you to um, you know, deliver value to your clients and customers, not only value because um, you're reducing their cost, but you're increasing their security detection at the same time. It's kind of that classic story of a win-win. So, so you're not coming in saying add this in. You're saying 
add this in and, and eliminate these three or four other things. Yeah, based on the 12 years of, you know, uh, NSA and intelligence experience that, you know, our founders and what I've created there, um, the right and pragmatic mix of tools that you can assemble that's going to be super effective, you know, based on their experience and background, kind of playing at the highest levels here. Um, and so it augments that, but again, the idea is to uh, increase your security detection, but shrink those tools down and get rid of all those alert fatigue problems. Which basically just eats up technicians' time, which, you know, then labor. you labor, which is the highest, you know, overhead walks on two legs. Mm -hmm. And then and then you're actually, the, the SOC you guys run, you're actually responding when, when there's a detection? That's a big differentiator because there's a lot of uh, companies that claim to do MDR. Mm -hmm where I'd say they actually do manage detection, but the response part is pretty weak. An email isn't a real response, it's an alert. Or even an email with step-by-step -step remediation instructions, that's kind of an actionable alert, but still an alert. Right. When the bad guys attack at 3.30 in the morning, you know, you have to respond to them, and we actually do. So mm -hmm. we have several uh, methods of doing that, but we are responding to it first, then we're letting you know what happened. Mm -hmm. and, and this sounds like a, is, I mean, is it a tool that you would install on small clients? Like if, like if, they, if these guys watch and have like someone who's got like 10 employees, run a real estate off, small manufacturing. So this is not like, this is an enterprise level tool, but it's brought down to the small business level. It is, and it scales amazingly. So um, it works at the five, 10 person, you know, office with 10 employees, and it works at 20,000 endpoint airlines as well, so. Okay, very good. So I know people are gonna be thinking, I wanna get a look at, get my eyes on this thing. So I think it's uh, blackpointcyber.com forward slash roadshow. Yep. And when they go there, they can get a demo, they can see what's going on. I know there's some, if they're, if they're interested, they can get some discounts, I think, or there's incentives. Absolutely, there's incentives there. There's also, um, you know, a lot of education that's available to them there as well. And we do a free trial. You know, there's no strings attached that can actually see it. And one of the big things uh, that makes that really great for them is, you know, other tools, they, they kind of use um, other, you know, uh, tools and they're just wrapping a service around it. Our tool, they have full visibility into. So it's kind of like the Wizard of Oz, right? You can see behind the curtain, we actually show you the wizard mm -hmm. instead of just kind of this facade that's there. So um, that's huge too. Okay. All right, excellent. So blackpointcyber.com forward slash roadshow, get a demo. And I would just encourage you guys to take a look at it because it's always worthwhile, even if you're not gonna, you're like, oh, I'm not sure I wanna buy. It's still, I think, worthwhile to see what's out there, to see the evolution of these tools that are coming out. Um, like I said, you've, you've just hit the, the ground running in our audience. A lot of people very excited about this, a lot, of, a lot of buzz around it. So that's very cool, which is why I want to do this video. So. Yeah, thank you, Robin, so much. I really appreciate, appreciate it. Appreciate you. All right, thanks, guys.